In the world of entertainment, many black celebrities have left an indelible mark on our hearts and minds. Tragically, some of them were taken from us far too soon due to the devastating effects of cancer. Today, we honor their legacies and remember their extraordinary contributions. Follow us, we delve into 20 black celebrities who died of cancer. If this your first time to our YouTube channel, kindly hits the subscribe button for more. 1. 1. Chadwick Boseman was an American actor who was born on November 29, 1976, and unfortunately passed away on August 28, 2020. He gained worldwide recognition for his portrayal of T. Chala, also known as Black Panther, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU films. Tragically, Chadwick Boseman was diagnosed with stage III colon cancer in 2016, which he kept private while continuing to work on various film projects. He battled the disease for four years before his untimely death at the age of 43. His passing came as a shock to the world, and he was mourned by fans, fellow actors, and colleagues alike. Two, Natalie DeSell Reed was an American actress who was born on July 12, 1967, and unfortunately passed away on December 7, 2020. She was known for her roles in various films and television shows. DeSell Reed gained recognition for her role as Mickey in the 1997 comedy film B. A. P. S. Mm. Black American Princesses, where she starred alongside Halle Berry. She showcased her comedic talents and garnered positive reviews for her performance in the film. She also appeared in other movies such as How to Be a Player, 1997, and Set It Off, 1996. DeSell Reed's passing at the age of 53, as a result of colon cancer, came as a shock to her fans and the entertainment industry. She was remembered for her infectious energy, talent, and vibrant on-screen presence. Her contributions to film and television continue to be appreciated and remembered by those who enjoyed her work. 3. Donald M. Payne was an American politician who served as a member of the United States House of Representatives. He was born on July 16, 1934, in Newark, New Jersey, and passed away on March 6, 2012. Payne was a member of the Democratic Party and represented New Jersey's 10th Congressional District from 1989 until his death in 2012. He was the first African American to be elected to Congress from New Jersey. He died as a result of colon cancer. 4. Sherman Pendergast, aged 45, was not considered one of the most skilled mixed martial artists. However, he earned unparalleled respect from his peers and fans. I really dislike it when individuals who show care for everyone experience hardship, Militic expressed. He possessed such a kind-hearted nature. During his sole appearance in Bellator on May 1, 2009, Pendergar suffered a first-round TKO at the hands of Joey Beltran. Pendergar's professional record stood at 11-18 with one no contest. Despite being diagnosed with colon cancer over a year ago, Pendergast adamantly refused to retire, despite repeated pleas from Militich and others at Militich Fighting Systems in Benendorf, Iowa. 5. Robert J. Searcy was an individual associated with the Tuskegee Airmen, a notable group of African-American military personnel who demonstrated exceptional service during World War II as part of the 332 Nye Fighter Group of the U.S. Army Air Corps. Following the war, Searcy resided in Los Angeles, California. Unfortunately, he passed away due to colorectal cancer in September 2009 at the age of 88. 6. Eartha Kitt was a prominent performer known for her versatile talents as a singer, actress, and entertainer. She gained recognition for her distinctive voice and captivating stage presence. Kitt's career spanned several decades, and she achieved success in various mediums, 
including music, film, and theater. Her performances were celebrated for their unique charm, wit, and sensual style. Kit passed away on December 25, 2008, leaving behind a lasting legacy in the entertainment industry. 7. Juanita Millinder McDonald was a notable public figure who made significant contributions in the field of politics. She was actively involved in public service and served as a respected member of the United States House of Representatives. Millinder McDonald's career was marked by her dedication to advocating for social justice and representing the interests of her constituents. Unfortunately, she passed away on April 22, 2007, leaving behind a legacy of service and commitment to her community. 8. Willie T., born Wilson Turbenton, was a highly talented musician known for his contributions to the music industry. He was a skilled pianist, vocalist, and composer, acclaimed for his soulful and innovative style. Willie T. made significant contributions to genres such as R&B, funk, and jazz, leaving a lasting impact on the music landscape. His musical prowess and dedication to his craft earned him recognition and respect from both fellow musicians and audiences worldwide. While his exact date of passing is not provided, his musical legacy continues to inspire and resonate with fans and aspiring artists. 9. Willie Kent was a renowned blues musician who made a significant impact on the genre. Born on February 24, 1936, in Inverness, Mississippi, Kent developed a deep passion for music at an early age. He became a highly skilled bassist and vocalist, known for his powerful and soulful performances. Kent's career spanned several decades, during which he collaborated with numerous blues legends and released several critically acclaimed albums. His music captured the essence of the blues, delivering heartfelt and authentic performances that resonated with audiences around the world. Unfortunately, Kent passed away on March 2, 2006, leaving behind a rich musical legacy that continues to inspire and influence generations of blues musicians. 10. James Foreman, born on October 4, 1928, was a prominent civil rights leader and activist. He played a crucial role in the American civil rights movement, advocating for racial equality and social justice. Foreman was known for his fearless activism and his involvement in organizations such as the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, SENCC. He was instrumental in organizing and participating in various protests and demonstrations, including the historic March on Washington in 1963. Foreman's work focused on combating racial discrimination, poverty, and inequality faced by African Americans. His contributions to the civil rights movement helped shape the course of history and inspire future generations to continue the fight for justice and equality. Foreman passed away on January 10, 2005, but his legacy as a passionate advocate for civil rights lives on. 11. Samuel Davis Mills Jr. was an American professional football player who had a successful career as a linebacker for 12 seasons in the top American Football League. He played for two different teams based in New Orleans and Carolina. Additionally, he had a stint in the United States Football League, USFL, with a team that operated in Philadelphia and later Baltimore, where he achieved championship victories in 1984 and 1,985. His contributions to the sport were recognized when he was honored with induction into the prestigious Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2022. Mills remained actively involved in the game, even after retiring as a player. Unfortunately, he passed away on April 18, 2005, due to complications from cancer. Throughout his life, Mills made significant contributions to both playing and coaching American football. 12. Eddie J. Johnson was a notable American football linebacker who had a successful tenure in the National Football League, NFL for 10 seasons, primarily with the Cleveland Browns. 
Throughout his time with the Browns, he was recognized by his jersey number 51 and earned the nickname the Assassin due to his aggressive tackling style. Johnson's playing career was marked by his reputation for fierce tackles. Tragically, Johnson passed away in 2003 following a brave two-year fight against Colin Cancer. His legacy as a talented linebacker and his courageous battle against his illness are part of his enduring story. 13. Anthony Ian Berkeley, born on November 15, 1964, and passed away on July 15, 2001, was a well-known American rapper and producer. He was a key member of the hip-hop group Grave Diggers, where he went by the name Grim Reaper. Additionally, he was recognized by the alias Tony Titanium. Poetic sadly succumbed to colon cancer on July 15, 2001, at 1.45 p.m. EST, while receiving care at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, California. Regrettably, his passing occurred five weeks prior to the scheduled release of Nightmare in a Minor. 14. Malcolm Denzel Marshall was a renowned West Indian cricketer who is widely regarded as one of the greatest fast bowlers in the history of the sport. He was born on April 18, 1958, in Bridgetown, Barbados. Marshall made his international debut for the West Indies in 1978 and went on to represent the team until his retirement in 1991. He was known for his exceptional speed, accuracy, and ability to generate movement off the pitch, which made him a formidable opponent for batsmen around the world. Malcolm Marshall passed away on November 4, 1999, at the age of 41 due to colon cancer. 15. Jimmy Rogers, a musician hailing from Ruleville, Mississippi, born on June 3, 1924, and passing away on December 19, 1997, in Chicago, Illinois, gained recognition as a blues singer, guitarist, and harmonicist associated with the vibrant Chicago blues scene. He notably contributed his talents as a member of Muddy Waters' band during the late 1940s and 1950s. Displaying his individual prowess, he achieved notable success on the ER&B chart with songs like That's All Right in 1950 and Walking By Myself in 1954. After a hiatus from the music industry in the late 1950s, he made a comeback in the 1970s, resuming his recording and touring activities. 16. Toni Cade Bambara was an influential writer and activist. She was born on March 25, 1939, and passed away on December 9, 1995. Bambara was known for her contributions to African American literature and her dedication to social justice. She wrote several acclaimed works, including novels, short stories, and essays. Her work often explored themes of race, gender, and the experiences of black Americans. Bombra's impactful writing and activism continue to inspire and resonate with readers today. 17. Cleavon Little was a talented actor known for his contributions to film, television, and theater. He was born on June 1, 1939, and sadly passed away on October 22, 1992. Little gained widespread recognition for his iconic role as Sheriff Bart in the 1974 comedy film Blazing Saddles, directed by Mel Brooks. His performance in the film earned him critical acclaim and a nomination for a Golden Globe Award. Throughout his career, Little appeared in various other films and TV shows showcasing his versatility and skill as an actor. His contributions to the entertainment industry left a lasting impact, and he is remembered as a talented performer. 18. Ruby Dee, the acclaimed actress, poet, and civil rights activist, passed away on June 11, 2014, at the age of 91. The cause of her death was natural causes complicated by age-related illnesses. 
While it is known that she had battled cancer, the specific details regarding the type of cancer she had are not widely available. 19. Bernie Mac, the beloved comedian and actor, passed away on August 9, 2008, at the age of 50. The cause of his death was complications from pneumonia. It was later revealed that his sarcoidosis, a condition that affects the lungs, was a contributing factor to his pneumonia and ultimately his passing. While Bernie Mac had battled sarcoidosis for many years, the specific details regarding his battle with cancer are not widely available. 20. Luther Vandross, the Grammy Award-winning singer-songwriter, passed away on July 1, 2005, at the age of 54. The cause of his death was complications from a heart attack. Luther Vandross had a long history of health issues, including diabetes and hypertension, both of which are risk factors for heart disease. While he had battled these conditions, there is no widely available information suggesting that he had cancer.